So I'm currently in the 2022 Chevy Bolt EV. And being an electric vehicle, it features a whole bunch of cool screens, features, settings, buttons that just kind of enhance uh, the ownership of an electrical vehicle. So I wanted to take some time to just go through those uh, screen settings, buttons, whatever. So first off, I'm gonna start with uh, the gauge cluster, which is a full digital display, which its whole point is to tell you just what your electrical vehicle is doing. So over on the left, you have uh, showcasing you your battery power, how much you've harnessed, charged, whatever. Over on the right, we'll basically show you um, the power of the vehicle, what it's doing. Now there are two different layouts. So you have modern, which both screens will show you basically the same thing in a different way. Um, as you can see, they're both showing you your battery um, power. And on the right, it's just showing you what the vehicle is going to be doing. So modern just kind of shows you this little circle that goes up until accelerator or if you're breaking down and then there's this little green um, area where, you know, you're being most fuel efficient. I typically leave it on the enhanced screen, which instead of that little bar, it's kind of going to show you exactly how much kilowatts you're using. And right below that, you see regen on both screens. Um, it's down there on the modern screen and on enhanced. It's right here. Now what that is, it's keyed to this paddle over here. Now on a lot of vehicles, uh, automatic transmission vehicles, particularly dual clutch um, transmission vehicles as well, you've got paddles and a steering wheel. Well, this one has one paddle. And what this does is if you can imagine uh, downshifting in a vehicle uh, where you're kind of engine braking, well, if you pull this paddle, you kind of have to hold it. And whereas for you know any sort of paddle that is a downshift paddle, you just kind of flip it and you're you're done. With this, if you hold it, it kind of simulates uh, you know the brake pedal. And what it's doing is in the name, it's uh, regenerating that braking energy because when you're your downhill braking probably produces the the best amount of energy for this situation. But even coasting to uh, any stop sign if you just pull this paddle and hold it you're gonna see you know the regen it's gonna have a, a spinning arrows around it showcasing that you know it's actually harnessing some of that power and then after over time maybe you'll earn a mile or two charge another cool screen is one well, of the main uh, app screen and that is the energy screen when you click in there, you'll pretty much probably be popped right here. And it's just a bunch of screens that showcase, you know, what your electric vehicle is doing. So obviously you have a silhouette of the vehicle. You've got your battery down low. It you know, matches the charge on uh, the, your gauge cluster screen, just showcasing you how much charge that battery is. And it'll kind of show you the flow of where the power is going. You got detail screen showcasing since your last charge, what you've done, what uh, things have kind of stolen your power. Another bar graph showcasing you just, you know, what's using power when. And a history screen. And you got charging. Obviously, the vehicle is not currently charging, but if it was, it would showcase that. Um, it shows you if you were to plug it in, um, just when it would be finished. So, right now, it'd be finished in about two hours if I plugged it in. And then another graph showcasing just how much battery is there. But those are just a few of the cool you know, electric vehicle screens, features, options that are kind of why you buy a vehicle. Obviously, you want to be most fuel efficient um, with a vehicle like this, but it's kind of cool to showcase you know, multiple pages, screens, features, uh, kind of put you in control of some of the energy um, saving. But I just wanted to showcase all those things. I hope this gave you some insight into those features in the Chevy Bolt EV. Thanks for watching.